Alright, well, I went out last night and bought the Sears clamp on amp meter. And I brought it in and thought it was working pretty good until first you see it's running at 6.9. If I squeeze the clamps together, it's 7.0. See my amps going up as I'm squeezing harder. Now I'm squeezing them really hard. Let it go, it drops back down. And I found if I stick just a little tiny piece of paper right here in the clamp, I can change my amps by up to like 1.5. So if you get a little bit of dust, sawdust or whatever, down inside that jaw, it's really going to fuck with your readings. Now I'm comparing, I had a friend, was a, he's an electrician, he's been using this clamp for uh, probably five years for doing for real electrical work. And the spring in, it's all beat up, but, you know, he's been pinching it on two by fours and stuff to hold it. But, I'm going to do the same thing, squeeze on the jaws. Okay. When I squeeze the jaws, nothing happens. Let them go. Not really any change. The sears, let me click this light off. The sears, 7.1. Starting to squeeze. I almost got it up to 8 on that one. From 7.1. See, so somehow it almost an amp change just from squeezing it. No, like I said, that's an amp higher, or I can make a drop by almost two amps just by sticking a piece of paper in there. And I get different readings depending on which line I'm hooked on to. 7.1, hook on my other line, 7.4. Check with my ideal, 6.5. Six point five, six point six. Which my readings do fluctuate because I'm running out of water. So that's gonna make my amps jump around a little bit, but six point six six point six. I'll do the same thing again with the sears. Seven point oh seven point three. And the only thing that we could figure was because, see, you got this plastic in there, you got a metal connection there, and plastic on that side, the same thing down inside the jaw. Whereas the ideal meter has, it looks like the same kind of metal that would be inside of like a flyback transformer. So. I'm going to go to Lowe's and try to find an ideal meter. Now, this one doesn't even say it's supposed to read DC. But it is. I'm just using it on the AC amp setting. And I'm, I'm just really surprised that there's that big of a difference in the meters. So, I mean, if I wanted to make a jacked up video, I could go in here, wear my spring out on this, get my amps down to, I don't say 5 amps, do an MMW test, and tell everybody I'm getting 12 MMW. I just hate, hate to see people trying to do this kind of stuff where these little readings actually matter, and you can have variations up to an amp. Now I am, I do have the Craftsman True RMS amp meter. And I didn't actually see which one compares closest on this. 6.6, .6, 7.0, 7.4, 7.5, 7.6, 7.4, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6, 7.6,
7.0, 7.5.